Good morning, family and friends. Saturday, October 9th, day 163. It's a little late, 20 to 9. <laughs> Uh, but we uh, we only have 12 miles to do, but we got We're gonna be reaching 5,000 feet today going over Mount Rogers highest peak highest point in Virginia uh, Good night's nice rest nice to sleep in my tent. I mean my tent my hammock again after a few days in the bed Temperature I don't know, it's kind of warm. It's like maybe in the 50s, upper 50s, maybe mid 50s. I don't know, I didn't check my pack thermometer. So we are, uh, yeah, big climb, big climbs start out in the morning. But we're only doing 12 miles. And tomorrow, uh, it's supposed to be really nice. That's when we could do Grayson Highlands and the ponies. That's what I'm looking forward to. So the trail is the trail. Oh, here comes some sun eking out. That's good to see. After, I mean, it rained every day this week, except for yesterday. Where's the sun? Ah, I can't see it. Except for, yeah, it was supposed to really rain yesterday, but it didn't. So that's. That was a good thing, but the uh, streams seem to be flowing, so we're good to go for a while. So, let's go. Come out of the woods and into this pasture. Yeah, me too. So we have some cows. Checking us out. Oh, here's a cow right on the trail. Hey cows. Good morning. Can can I pass? What's up? You got a lot of flies on you. Does that bother you? All right. Up we go. Up we go. I don't know, maybe they're, maybe they're for eating cows. <laughs> Beef. Beef. <sighs> See some nice colors. Nice. Before we go in the wood now. Yeah. Nice colors. Yeah. Starting to come out. Whew. Still climbing up this big mountain. 
when we get done, we'll be at 5,085 feet. Highest we've ever been in Virginia yet. A nice little spot to take a break on our way up this brutal climb. <clears throat> See a little bit of color there. Sun's coming out. Blue sky. Love it. All setting up for a nice day at Grayson Highlands tomorrow. Top of Buzzards Rock, everybody, 5,885 feet. I feel like I'm up in Maine with these views. I think we came from the top of that mountain there. Came down and climbed all the way up. We reached 1,700 miles hiked. But I gotta, I gotta find something to market with. There's not a lot here. Beautiful. Now, I don't know what that is up there. And almost like it looks like the top of a ski slope. Or no, it's a it's a microwave tower. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 1,700 miles. Hiked 480, 493 miles to go. Incredible. Here we are, 1,700 miles hiked. Now we have 900, no, 900, please. 493 miles left. Amazing. All right, fellas. Okay. See you up the trail. Are you, are you EB? I am. Okay, EB, see you later. All righty. Trail name is Jersey. Jersey. Mm-hmm. I'm uh, Socks. Socks. These calves. Cabs or calves? Calves, like... Oh, so far anyway. Ca yeah, caps. Okay, That's got it. Calves. Yeah. There's the other side of Buzzard Rock. And I made a better sign for 14, 1700. Hold on, let me show you. I wanted people to see this. So I kind of put a border around it. There it is, 1700. 493 miles left. Hopefully next week at this time will be 1800 and 393 miles left. Back in the woods, and I've gone maybe five minutes, and this is the third stream I've passed. This is great. So keep on coming. There's a pipe spring about 0.6 from here on the trail. Then I'm gonna stop and get some water and have some lunch. Because it's almost lunchtime. I mean, I only have seven miles to go to get to our next shelter. So, why rush it? Enjoy the day. I mean, we just hit 1,700 miles. That's close to some kind of celebration. 
It's a little sloppy here too, but that's okay. All right, I'll get back at you. Now that's what I call a gushing spring pipe. Water, water everywhere. Right, this is great to see. Just flowing down here. Flowing down the mountain. Fantastic. A little bit of AT News update. So tomorrow we're getting to Damascus. We are not staying at Crazy Larry's. We changed it to uh, Lady Di B&B at the recommendation of another hiker. Uh, two hats went in to Crazy Larry's to go use the bathroom and he said the place reeked of cigarette smoke. So uh, we changed. How you doing? Hey. Yep. So yeah, we uh, I canceled like crazy Larry's because remember I told you yesterday I can't stand cigarette smoke. Well, there you go. That was the deciding factor for me. So we're staying at Lady Dies. Supposed to be new hostel in Damascus. She's a uh, 2019 through hiker. So, uh, yeah. That's a good thing. Meanwhile, the sun has come out, as you can see. I haven't seen the sun quite some time. And, I mean, there's just water every place. Crossing it, crossing these little streams, trying to keep my feet dry in the trail, because running down a trail. Whoops. That didn't work. <laughs> so yeah, you can see. And run all down the trail. So let's hope this water supply lasts for a couple weeks. Or not longer. So alright, I figure I might as well just let you get caught up in the AT Trail news. Beautiful meadow, huh? Just past a bunch of day hikers, like six of them, seven of them. And, and they're probably all going up to where we're going. Thomas Knob Shelter over there, around there. It's gonna be crowded up there. It's the weekend, and uh, the woman LT that's driving with us this couple days just informed us that it's Columbus Day weekend. Had no idea. What are we now? We're in the woods. So, uh, fortunately, after the, uh, after the shelter, there's a bunch of other campsites. So, there's a lot of different options. And, uh, there's two other hammockers behind me. So, you know, when you get a bunch of hammock people together, the options are quite low as far as where you can set up. So hopefully I stay ahead of those people. <sighs> All right. Just thought I'd let you know what's happening. We've been seeing these bear warning signs all over the place. Frequent bear human encounters at campsites along the Appalachian Trail in Mount Rogers National Recreation Area and Grayson Highland State Park. Bears areas have learned to retreat, to retrieve food hunted, hung in trees. Well, that's why we want to put it in our bear boxes. Metal bear box installed these sites. Just uh, Thomas Knob. All right, good. 
All right, we're good. Oh, and we're entering the Lewis Fork Wilderness. We all know what a wilderness is by now. As we continue to climb up to Mount Rogers, uh, a thought just came to mind. Uh, Soundscape uh, sent me a clip of me crossing a creek. Uh, I forget the name of the creek, but it was a, a bridge that they took out because took it was uh, deteriorating. And uh, he had just, they just warned you to be careful in high water to cross this creek. Well, it was kind of high water, but we were able to. It was during the rain on Wednesday. And we were able to get across it just by climbing over rocks. Stepping over rocks, I should say. And uh, Soundscape uh, videotaped a video of me climbing over it. And so this is, this is what it looked like. Jersey, say hi to your fans. Hello, fans. <laughs> yeah, I know. Not the most graceful, but I got the job done. Yeah, and the resolution's not that great. He shot it in, in uh, on his Apple phone, iPhone, and then texted it to me. So it automatically down it so it could text it. So sorry for the bad resolution, but you get the idea old nimble feet jersey stepping over rocks a view of the meadow clouds coming in I don't know what we're going to see on top of Mount Rogers if we go up there pretty cool Sorry folks, I can't get enough of this. I mean, you're probably bored with it, but you haven't lived out here when there's no water. So the fact that I'm seeing this really makes me happy. Right now we're above 5,000 feet. There's a hiker sitting there at the Blue Blaze Trail to go to the summit a half, uh, half mile. He says it's not worth it. It's, it's all overgrown. I'm not gonna get a good view. Thomas Knob has a better view. So, I was gonna bag that peak, but you know what? I'm not a peak bagger. So, let's go to Thomas Knob and see what's happening there. I know Soundscape and Two Hats are there. We're gonna hike another half mile to uh, an area with other campsites. So I got a feeling Thomas Knob's gonna way too, be way too crowded. All right, get back to you when uh, we get to Thomas Knob. We reached the end of Lewis Fork Wilderness. Now we go on. I see. Uh, I see Soundscape's hat. What's he doing? Oh, I hear people. Oh, I hear soundscape. Oh, I hear two hats. Nice detour, soundscape. Last I checked. Thomas Knob Shelter, everybody.
just got water from this pipe. Actually, it's just attached right there, coming right down from the mountain. I don't, I mean, this is the highest point in Virginia. I don't see where all this water is coming from. The water table's got to be awfully high. Anyway, here's some nice views you guys can check out. This is basically a bald, this mountain, the top. So we're not going to stay at that other campsite a half mile away. It's really a, almost a mile. But uh, so we're going to stay in another area that two hats found. Anyway, that's what we're looking at. I'm a hammock. She, she wants to do the hammock thing. And I'm like, well, we have E&O hammocks, but those aren't ultra light. You need to get like, uh, what brand hammock do you have? I have Hennessy hammock. Okay, and then you have. I have a, a, a ridge line hammock gear, uh, Cuban fiber tarp. Hello. Right. Hi. Hi. Come on in. <laughs> there are so many people here. <clears throat> Oh, nice colors. Let me zoom in a little bit. Oh, look at the clouds over the valley below. That's pretty neat looking. So you can hear everybody here. Jesus, so many people here. This is the most crowded shelter that I've stayed in my entire uh, through hike. Well, at least we got a nice sunset. You can see the moon and another planet right below it. I'm going to end my video with you guys tonight. Oh, don't end it with us. End it with <laughs> the soundscaping. That's okay. We got this. Oh, on the trail. Yeah. Jersey. Yeah. Beautiful video. Hey, folks. Wow, that's a nice picture. That is a nice picture. So today ends uh, day 162. How many miles? Oh, we did what? 12 and a half? Only 12 and a half. Tomorrow's 13.6, but uh, we're going to ride the ponies tomorrow. Uh, in Grayson Highlands, so that'll be nice. As you can see, it's a beautiful night, and uh, so hat, it's pretty cool, though. See the little melon. So that'll end that. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, see you on the trail tomorrow. Good night and God bless.